Hey, I'm Amelia. And I'm Steve. And this is the Vibe Van. Dave and Matt Vans asked us to share some of the best plants to travel with while on the road. So this summer we've been traveling with uh, Tillandsia, or what are commonly known as air plants. These have been the perfect plants on the road because as you can see, they don't need dirt. They can just kind of float in the air um, and you can kind of put them anywhere throughout the van. So um, they don't require too much water uh, and or sunlight. They kind of look like uh, Medusa, <laughs> Medusa's head or something. Um, they're good little buddies. You can tuck them just about anywhere, you know, in a, a pot, in a bowl. Um, they just take little spritzes of water every few days. And We've uh, even put them on the dashboard when we're driving um, and they'll just sit in the sun and get all the nutrients that they need through the windshield. Um, and then we'll put them back in their pots once we're parked. So this is another great low light, low maintenance plant. This is one we're actually propagating from a plant that we have at home. It's called a pothos and you can just take clippings and put it in a little jar or a container um, and it'll grow roots so that when you return home, if you have an apartment, um, you can plant them. But this is a really great one that we can uh, just put about pretty much anywhere. Pothos are very difficult to kill, um, a famously resilient plant, and it actually cleans the air quite well. Um, I think a couple decades ago, NASA did a study, study of the best plants that clean the air, and pothos was one of the top ones. One of our favorites. So if you're the type of person who kills all of your succulents, uh, this is actually the perfect plant for you. Um, it's super beginner friendly because it doesn't need too much water. Um, and again, like we said, low light, low maintenance, um, and it's beautiful. It grows really, really fast. Um, and this one doesn't do it right now, but eventually it'll kind of vine out. So you can do a lot with it. So this is Rick Rack. It's a small succulent. Um, succulents in general are a great option. They take a bit more sunlight, but they don't need a lot of watering. Um, so we're, we're testing out this Rick Rack um, to see how to well us. it does <laughs> in the van. It's looking pretty all right. It kind of looks like a little Christmas tree cactus, so it's a lot of fun. So some of the other plants that we recommend that we don't necessarily have in the van right now include aloe vera, which is kind of this, known as the sunburn plant. Um, we traveled with it last summer um, in some little pots um, on our wall. It did quite well in the van. It didn't. We weren't worried about it dying. It was, um, you know, kept growing, doing its thing as though it were at home. And a couple of times we. Uh, had pretty rowdy days in the sun and then just broke off a, a piece of the aloe and poured that delicious goop all over our sunburn and let it ride. I would also recommend any small plants. You know, you can go to a, a nursery and you'll find the little plastic cups that they come in. Um, these are really good to just place in cup holders or if you do have small pots in your van, you can just tuck them in there so you don't even have to plant them separately. So when we first designed our van, we prioritized um, decorations and bringing little pieces of home with us. Uh, so that includes uh, plants. So we have a lot of plants in our apartment. Um, so we wanted to bring them on the road with us. They're our little buddies. They give us something to take care of. Um, and they just make the inside just as happy as the outside. They add a nice green color to the van, you know, a, a splash against um, a lot of our white and, and kind of tan interior. Uh, and it's just great knowing they're cleaning the air too, like that pothos plant. It's just a lot of fun to uh, think of our van as being a little bit fresher. Oftentimes we'll pull into parking lots, um, so we'll be stealth camping or um, camping somewhere. There are a lot of bugs, we close the door. So we can't see the trees outside. So if we have a little plant inside, it's like the greenery that's outside, um, inside. And they make us happy. We like to support a lot of local nurseries. Um, some of our favorites include Warners in Flagstaff, where we live. Um, we just came from my hometown of Lawrence, uh, Kansas, and Jungle House is a great one there. Um, and so yeah, it's just they always have great selections at places like that, uh, unique things like we just got a, um, a Buddhist temple 
um, succulent from Jungle House, which is a really cool, unique plant. Uh, My favorite's online, actually, and it's called Air Plant Shop, which is where we got these little buddies, too. Um, so you don't have to just go in person, you can also support online as well. As you're traveling, whether you're in small cities or big cities, um, stop at those little local shops uh, and nurseries. That's one of like our favorite things to do when we're on the road. We'll go to you know the national monuments and national parks and then we'll look up like the best plant shop in town. Um, so that's uh, a few of the places we've gotten um, some of the plants that are with us. If you have any questions about uh, carrying plants in your van, check us out on Instagram at The Vibe Van and we hope you have safe travels.